My dear young friends, when you were baptized, your gracious Lord forgave all your sins. He covered you in the robes of Christ's righteousness. Through water and the word, he created faith in your hearts and adopted you into the family of believers. As you matured and heard and studied the scriptures, the Holy Spirit enlightened your mind and preserved you as a child of God. You have expressed the desire to confess the truths you believe before your Savior and your family and your friends. You are ready to say with St. Paul, I believe, therefore I have spoken. You have learned to examine your thoughts, words, and actions in light of God's law. You have experienced the comfort of forgiveness in the Savior's gospel. With this preparation, you are eager to receive the Savior's body and blood in the sacrament. As we worship with you on this day, we are filled with joy as we see how the Lord has grown your faith and love. We are bringing our prayers to the Savior's throne of grace and imploring him to keep you faithful to him and his word until you, until you join us and all believers in the glories of heaven. So, I now ask you, are you ready and willing to confess your faith before the triune God and those who are worshiping with you today? If so, answer, I am. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? If so, answer, yes, I believe in the Father. You guys have to talk a little bit louder so they can all hear you. All right, here we go. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. If so, answer yes, I believe in the Son. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? If so, answer, yes, I believe in the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Do you reject the devil along with all of his lies and empty promises and seeds of division? If so, answer, yes, I do. Do you believe that all the books of the Bible are the inspired and inerrant word of God? If so, answer, I do. Do you believe that the teachings of the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod and Holy Word, as you have learned them to know them from Luther's small catechism, are faithful to the true word of God? If so, answer, I do. Is it your sincere prayer and your desire to remain faithful to your Lord Jesus and his words all of the days of your life? If so, answer, yes, and I ask God to help me. Is it your sincere prayer and desire to live a life that pleases God, to value his word and sacraments, and to witness to your Savior wherever you go? If so, answer, yes, and I ask God to help me. Very good. I now invite each of you to come forward to receive a blessing from the Lord and a word of encouragement from the scriptures. Isaac, you want to come and stand here? Isaac, you have made your promises before God. And what is the confirmation verse that you have chosen to take you on your faith journey? Go ahead and recite your confirmation verse close into the mic and loud. John chapter 14 verses 1 through 3. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you so. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me so that you may also be where I am. Very good. Three verses he picked willingly, just letting you know. All right, Isaac, go ahead and just kneel. Isaac Ben-Hur Kamrong. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, may he give you his spirit, the spirit of wisdom and knowledge, the spirit of grace and prayer, the spirit of power and strength, the spirit of sanctification and fear of God. His grace will always be with you. Amen.
Ian, you have made your promises before God, and as you go on your faith journey, what is the confirmation verses that you have selected to take with you? Ephesians 2, 8, 9, and 10. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and it's not from yourself, but a gift from God, not by works, so that no one may boast. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Very good. All right, please kneel. <coughs> Ian Joseph Gould, our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us by his grace, gave us eternal encouragement and good hope. May he encourage your heart and strengthen you in every good deed and word. His grace will always be with you. Amen. All right, Timmy, you've made your promises before God, and what is the confirmation, confirmation passage you're going to take with you? John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, and whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Very good. Please kneel. Timothy Joel Steinke. Great name, by the way. <laughs> Timothy Joel Steinke. The Father in heaven, for Jesus' sake, May he renew and increase in you the gift of the Holy Spirit for your strengthening in faith, your growth in grace, your patience in suffering, and for the blessed hope of eternal life. God's grace will always be with you. Amen. Upon these, your confessions and promises, I... On behalf of Holy Word and the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod, invite you to participate with us in Holy Communion. Let's say a prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for your great goodness in bringing these young men, your servants, to the knowledge of your Son, Jesus Christ, and to the truth of the gospel revealed through him. It is by your grace that you have enabled them to believe with their hearts and to confess your name with their mouth. We ask you to keep and strengthen their faith through the Holy Spirit. By your grace, may they continue steadfast and victorious until the day when all who have fought the good fight of faith will receive the crown of righteousness through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, Holy Word Congregation, we're going to look at you now. You guys turn and look at them. These men are going on their faith journey, but they're not alone. God has blessed them with you. And so my encouragement for you is to continue to support them with your prayers. Uh, connect with them. See how they're doing. Encourage them on their life's journey. Share with them how important the gospel is. Um, don't think that they're on their own. God has given them you to be their friends, and they are going to be your friend because we are all friends with Jesus. Very good. Everyone give them a big round of applause. Timmy, you can go. Go ahead. Sit down.